Volatility looks like a very good trading opportunity here. The issue is having an honest ETF that's not designed to steal your money. VXX, UVX, they're not designed to steal anybody's money. They're not manipulated. They do exactly what they're supposed to do. VXX trades based on VIX futures. It's not manipulated. This is an open, freely traded market. People can make any volatility bets they want. Now, it is true that there is about a 70% correlation or so, but it would be a mistake to assume that the VXX is an inverse product of the stock market. It is not. It is totally unrelated. Just because stocks are staying, you know, up, down, up, down, choppy, chop, does not mean that the VXX has to go a certain direction. Just because the stocks go down doesn't mean VXX goes up and vice versa. So the reason the VXX has decayed so strongly in the last couple of months is because we are coming off an entire year of 2022 where most traders who were hedging their portfolio just repeatedly had those hedges be useless and expire worthless. And there has to, at some point, be some hedging exhaustion. It's not beneficial for people to look at volatility ETFs and think these are somehow manipulated or they're designed to do a certain thing. They are designed to track the front two months of the VIX futures. That's it. And they do it very well. Now that doesn't mean that they won't go down long term. They will, but that's what insurance looks like. By very definition, if you were to plot on a chart what a long S&P 500 put option looks like, guess what? It looks like the VXX. That's what insurance looks like. It has to go down. Markets wouldn't make any sense if hedging was free, right? Everybody would hedge their portfolio. No decay factor in the VXX, that wouldn't make any sense. So of course, in a roundabout quasi way, yeah, I guess it's designed to go down because it's an insurance product and it goes up violently in short periods and then it goes down steadily over long periods. Insurance. Same with your car payments, same with your house insurance. Your fire insurance plotted on a graph looks like the UVXY. That's what it is. It's an insurance product. It's not manipulated. The reason that VXX has gone down so much more than you might have expected, given the market that we are seeing, where you know the market's still down, I don't even know, 16, 18%, something like that. But the VXX, the UVXY, they've all cratered. Well, why would that be? The VIX futures is an open market. Anybody can do anything they want in that market. What are they doing? Just normal trading, hedging, exhaustion, I suppose. Like I showed before in my metrics, I mean, you can see it right here. If, if you know what you're looking at, look, the front month percentiles are low. Like we're seeing the VIX 9D to the VIX ratio, it's low. But the mid to long-term products, those are higher. But remember, the VXX and UVXY are playing the front two months of the futures, right? They're, we're basically tracking the VX30 the VX30 constant maturity. We're tracking this thing. So if that goes down, then the VXX goes down, regardless of what the stock market does, regardless of what the VIX index does. These are not connected. They're correlated. They're not connected. No causation there. So the VXX can decouple completely from the market. And, and it does, as you're seeing right now. Can also decouple the other way. You can get a period where the market's actually steadily going up. Volatility products are just flatlined. Like that happens as well. So as I say, one of the general rules of investing is know your product. If you're under the impression that these are manipulated and they're designed to do something specific and it's kind of robbing people of their opportunities to trade volatility, then you need to paper trade for a little while or you need to you know, reduce it to the least possible, like you know, one contract, something like that. You gotta know your products. Very good opportunity if you do know them because not many people take the time to understand them, which it does mean there's edge there. If you can actually dive in and pop the hood and figure out what's causing those movements, you can find edge there. They behaved exactly as they are designed. They tracked perfectly the front two months of the VIX futures. It just so happens that the open market of VIX futures happened to be bidding lower and lower and lower. People just aren't hedging with those futures at the rate that they were in the past. Maybe they are shifting over to zero DTE options on the VIX. Whatever it is, they're not doing it in the VIX futures market. So yeah, the, the path is down and it's not overly surprising. I don't mean to keep picking on you. I, I like questions like this because a lot can be learned unpacking these things. I'd say your language too, the way you're speaking about these products, you're positioning yourself as if somebody's against you. Even if that was true, you don't want to approach life as a victim. You don't want that mentality in your trading. You're not a victim. These are open products that everybody, there's a prospectus there for you to study. There's all kinds of opportunity for you to find your edge and out-trade other people. So I'm not saying 
mean you're pretending to be a victim. I don't mean that. I, I just mean that some of the words you're using, it sounds like you're positioning like a, a them versus us type of thing. It's not. It, it really isn't. These are very well-functioning products and great opportunities for people who see it that way. So VXX calls look good to me. It would not be unwise to be accumulating a defensive position that's heavy in volatility options. You said it would not be unwise. I wouldn't say it's wise either. Like that would be you're playing a contrarian and usually contrarians lose. What ends up happening is you start accumulating this position. It's going to bleed capital over time. Statistically speaking, volatility goes low. It's just going to go lower and you're going to be bleeding your capital down. And by the time you do get the inevitable spike that you're expecting, which will happen if you wait long enough, might be a day, it might be a month, but at some point volatility is going to go back up. When it does, you might have lost more money in the bleed and you, you're going to need a monumental spike just to get back to break even. That can happen when you're playing a contrarian and you're buying long volatility when volatility is bleeding down. I would not, again, it's not investing advice, but I would strongly encourage people not to try to be a contrarian against the market. There will be times when you catch it right and you think you're a genius, but we are not investing for six month windows here. We're investing for 30 years. We need to make sure we're doing the right things for 30 years. Being a contrarian for 30 years will get you bankrupt. It just will. So bad habit, don't do it. So for an extensive volatility metrics dashboard updated daily, and to see all of the live trades for our tactical rotation and option strategies, click this link right here and claim your free trial to the VTS community. You're always welcome to join us anytime. See you next time.